If you're looking to create a stunning logo for free, you may have come across this video on our channel. Now, unfortunately, the service featured in this video seems to no longer allow you to download high resolution versions of your logos. So we've done our homework and found an even better solution that will allow you to create a stunning logo for free in no time, even if your skills are on par with a five-year-old. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astra team and in this video I will share with you an amazing tool that will help you to create a beautiful logo for free in no time. And not only will you be able to download a high resolution version of your logo, but you will also be able to download the source vector file, which means that you can literally upscale it at will as much as you want, it will still look good. Yeah, you heard right, without losing any quality. And cherry on the cake? You'll also be able to download a stylish brand colors PDF so that you can maintain brand consistency. And let's start with the problem. See, not everybody can or wants to shell hundreds or thousands of dollars to create a logo. Now, luckily for us, in this day and age, it's so easy to create a logo. Now, just do a Google or YouTube search and you will see the ton of options available, even for free tools. But that is part of the problem because now, which one do you pick? And that brings us to our second point. What are the prerequisites for a good free logo maker? And the first one is a good icon library because unless you are a designer, and if you are a designer, you probably don't need this tutorial. Well, you need a good icon library. So you got a lot of options to choose from uh, to spark your creativity, or if you have no creativity, it's just gonna help you to get the job done. The next one is good colors and typography options because you don't want your logo to look like anyone else. You want to use your own color palette, you want to be able to use the fonts that you want to use to really make your logo and your brand stand out. Next, high resolution downloads because there are a lot of these services where, okay, you can create your logo, but then when you download it, it's so tiny, it's ridiculous. You want a high res version of your logo because you may want to use it on a billboard one day. And finally, the ability to legally use that logo, because what's the point if you can make the logo and if you can't use it? And that brings us to the solution. And the tool we're gonna use today is a website called logo.com. Yeah, as simple as that. Now, let's build on the previous video and let's say you wanna build a barbershop brand. So first of all, we're gonna give it a name. So let's call it Lorem Stash and click on make a logo. Next, you can enter your slogan. So let's call it Lorem Ipsum very original and click on continue. Next, enter the industry. So let me type barbershop and here you can select a color theme. So let me pick the yellow one, then click on continue. Next, I can choose a font style. So for a moment, I'm just gonna choose anyone. We can change this later, click on continue. And then you're going to select whether you want a logo with icons or without icons. So let me pick with icons. Next, you're going to type some keywords that are going to help the tool to know exactly what you're trying to build as a brand. So here, let me type beard, mustache, and scissors. And it says here in free version, you've reached the maximum keywords. So let's click on continue. And here we have a first selection. So that's pretty good for a first try. We have a lot of different options, a lot of different variations, but that's really good for a start. So you can build from there. Now let's go back up and let's pick one design that's closer to what we're trying to achieve. So let me pick this one here and I'm just going to click on customize. Great, so let's take a look at that interface. So first of all, we have the ID tab. This is where we started when we added the keywords. So if I change the keywords here, I get different images. Next, we have layouts. So you can decide how you want to align elements. So if I put top, you see the icon is on top, right, bottom, and left. I actually like it better on the left-hand side. Next, you can select a new layout from here. So if I click here, as you can see, it changed the layout, even changed the icon here and here. Now you may think, okay, I've just lost what I did initially. And that's why I love this tool because take a look here, we have history. Now, with a grain of salt, because apparently the history is only for your session. So if you move away from the website, log off, come back, then the history is gone. But while you're working on it, you can just click on history. And as you can see, we can go back to what we were working on. That's just amazing for a web tool. Okay, so let's scroll back up and let's go back to layouts. So as I showed you, you can change the layout here. 
but I'm not gonna change it because I actually like what we're doing right here. But still, it's nice to see the various options. So let's go back up. Next, we have the colors tab. So let me click on it. And as you can see, you can change the color of the business name. Actually, let me make it black. Then we have the slogan. I'm gonna use a dark gray, very dark gray. Next, we have our background color, which is the color that we chose initially when we chose our color palette, our color theme. And if you click on it, of course, you can play with the values here or you can change the code. You get the hex code and the RGB code. So if you already have your brand colors, you can easily change it from here. And this is one of the prerequisites. You want to be able to maintain brand consistency. Now, you can also choose a new color palette, but we're not going to do that now. But as you can see, we have a few color palettes here. Next, let's go to containers and you can decide to add a container around your logo. So for example, I could go like this, like that, like that, like this, you get the idea. Let me go back to history and let me go back. Which one was it? It was this one. All right. So you get the idea about containers. You got a lot of different containers. See, I'm continually scrolling. So you can get a lot of variants. And the idea is that you don't want your logo to look exactly the same as your competition because the point of a logo is really to make your brand stand out. Next, the business name. Now we already filled this in in the initial onboarding process, but you can change the business name here. So here, for example, I can put a caps lock on that letter, click on save. And as you can see, it's reflected right here. Next, I can add a trademark text right here in the box. So for example, let me choose, first of all, let me put a C and choose the style. So let me click on R and now we have the copyright. Now I could put R, click on save and there you go. Now you can also change the style. It could be like this. Now it's at the bottom or it could be like this. All right, but we're not going to use that. So let me remove it and save. Next, we can change the business name color. So for example, here I can make it white but I'm going to keep it black. So let me put it back on black and I can also change the case. So I can have it all capitalized. I mean, all in caps lock. I can have it like this or like that. I'm just going to use it the regular way, but I want to put my caps S back. So let me save this. Next, I can change the style in some designs, but if I hover over the information icon here, it says that the design does not support text alignments but that seems to be particularly for this design. Next, we can change the icon layout. So you can put it on top, right, bottom, left. We already saw that earlier. So let me leave it on the left-hand side. And next you can change the business name font. So right now it's using this font, Nucha, or I don't know how you pronounce it. And as you scroll down, you have a lot of different options. Now let me scroll back up. I know which font I wanna use. So I'm just going to start typing the name of the font, click on search. And here I have Montserrat and Montserrat alternates. And this is the one I want. So let me click on it and I'm going to pick this one. Great. So as you saw, I can either type in the search field or I can just scroll and click on any font that I want. All right, next, let's move on to the slogan. So for the slogan, same thing. I can change the font, but if we scroll back up here, I can change the styles. So I can make it italic, but let's put it back to normal and I can align it on the left, on the right or in the middle. Or if I want, I can also stretch it all across the width, but let's put it back to left align. All right, next I can change the size so I can make it extra small or if I want, I can make it extra large. Now let's put it back at default. And next, once again, I can scroll down and I can select various styles. So I could pick this one, quicksand, or this one, Bowman's. But actually, I know the one I want. So once again, I'm gonna start typing Mizio, click on search, and this is the one I want, Mizio Moderno. So let me click here. We have three fonts, I mean three weights, so light, regular, and bold. Let me use regular, and that's the one I want. Great. 
Next, let me click on icon. And here I can change the icon that I want. I can click on get more icons, get more icons, and I have a ton of choices. So once again, this is gonna help to have your brand stand out from other brands. You don't want the exact same beard as someone else. So the fact that there are many options is very good. Now here I want a mustache, so let me just type mustache, click on search, and there you go. And I can also click on get more options, and I get a few more, I can click some more, and you get the ID by now. So let me scroll back up, and this is the one that I actually want. Great, we're getting close, but we're not done yet. So let me scroll back up, and let's take a look at the options here. So the icon is medium, let me put it on small. Okay, that's a bit better. Now let's try extra small, and that's even better. Now we're getting close, but there's still something I wanna change. So let me go back to layouts, and here, if I click on the filter layouts drop down, as you can see, I can really filter by the type of layout that I want. So I know I want a circle around the mustache, so let me click on circle and let me take a look. And actually, yeah, I think it's this one right here. This is the one I want. So let me click back on it. But as you can see, it would have been better if we had done that before because now we lost the mustache, but I know which mustache it is, so no fear. Let me go back to icon, let me scroll back up, and this is the one. Awesome! Now, one more thing. Now that I look at the logo, I realize that the business name has kind of the same weight as the slogan, so let me change this. Let me click on the logo, which is the other way you can access options instead of clicking here on the side panel. Now, let me scroll back up, and let me change the weight to medium, for example. Now, let me try semi-bold. And no, I actually prefer medium. So let me click back on medium. Great. Next, let's click on preview. And that's the beauty of it. Let me scroll down. Here in the preview part of this app, you can see your logo in a real life situation. So it really helps to imagine your brand alive. Here you have kind of a hero section website. And here you have paper, envelope, some more options. And as you'd probably agree, it's great to see your own brand in a real life situation. It makes your brand come alive. And if you really wanna see a brand come alive, just take a look at the website I've built in just a few clicks. And as you can see, we have our logo here. We have the logo here again. We got the brand colors. Everything is on brand. And I've built all of that with the free WordPress platform, the free WordPress Astra theme, and the free starter templates. Actually pick this one here so it's this one here and in just a few clicks I turn this into this now if you're interested in building a similar website with the free WordPress Astra theme and a free starter template you'll find links in the description below and if you want to easily and quickly get started with Astra then you should definitely take a look at this video so back to the tools interface once you're ready you can click on get your logo so let's click on it and here it's asking you to create an account, but no panic, it's completely free. You can log in with Google or with Facebook. So let me log in with Google. Okay, and once you're logged in, this is what you'll see. You'll see a new interface here because of other products like business cards, letterheads, but all this requires a premium account, which you don't need for your free logo. So all you need is to scroll down here and click on logo files your logo files and here you can click on download your logo but if you do so it's only going to download one version so if you just scroll down you see your logo zip files click on download and it's going to download all versions so once you've downloaded the zip file just unzip it and inside of it you will find four folders the first one is the eps format the second one is the pdf format and i'll talk about that in a moment the third one is the png format so let's take a look we have the black and white version the brand colors next we have the transparent logo the transparent png and next we have white on black version next if we go back we have the svg format and just like pdf the beauty of it is that you can upscale it as much as you want and i've already shown you that previously but let's do it again so this is the pdf version and let me show you as i zoom in look at the o it's perfectly neat. I can zoom as much as I want. It's gonna keep being neat. So 
I could have a giant billboard and just print the logo is going to look super neat. Now let's try to do this with the PNG. So this is the PNG version. And let me zoom in. Look at the O. Look how pixelated it gets when I start zooming in. So if I want to print this on a giant billboard, it's not gonna look that good. I mean, unless you're really far away. Now let's go back to the PDF version. And as you can see, it's super neat. Now back in our interface, we can also download our brand color. So just click on download. And here, once again, once you've downloaded the zip file, you just want to unzip it. And in the folder, this is what you'll see. And look at this, not only do we get the brand board, but what I love is we get the fonts downloaded. And that's great, especially for brand consistency, because you might need those fonts down the line. So let's go back and here we have the brand board PDF. And if you open that PDF, the first thing that you'll notice is that it looks super professional. So if you're going to work with other professionals, you're just going to send them this so that they can maintain brand consistency. For example, someone might be taking care of your marketing campaign. Well, you can send them this. So here we have the logo and here we have the logo versions. So the primary, then wordmark only and the icon. Next, we have the colors with the hex code, RGB, CMYK, which is for print, and the Pantone, which is also a way to really match the colors for print. So once again, super professional. Then we have the typography and we have the primary typography for our logo. So as you saw, logo.com comes with a ton of useful features, among which a good icon library, good colors and typography options, the ability to download high resolution of the logo and the possibility to actually use the logo. Now regarding the legal side of using the logo, always consult the terms and conditions. And that's the general advice for any tool you're going to be using, whether it's a free or premium tool, always consult the terms and conditions. Plus those can change. You know, the truth of today is not the truth of tomorrow. So here on the website of logo.com, all you need to do is scroll all the way down and click on terms and conditions. And there you'll find all you need to know, the use case on how you can use the logo and how you can not use the logo. But like I said, these can change anytime. So make sure you future-proof yourself, take some screenshots. Now, personally, my favorite features about these tools are the fact that there are so many options. That's the first one. The second one is the history. It's so nice to be able to go back if I mess things up. So like here, I put it at the bottom. I can just go back to history and put it back the way it was. But you know, like I said, with the caveat is that it seems to only be working for the ongoing session. As soon as you go out of here, it's gone. So if you messed up, don't close the tab, right? Don't log out, log out and don't close the tab. Next, I like the preview. I mentioned that earlier, but seeing your logo as you're building it in a real life situation, it's just really helping because this is not abstract anymore. It's, you know, it's really pragmatic. It's the real thing. That's going to help you when you're building the logo to see how it looks. And finally, one of the things I love about this tool, apart from the fact that it's free, of course, is that you can create up to five free logos. So for that, just click on dashboard, click on switch logo, create a new logo, and there you go. Now you can create Lorem Coffee. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like more video content that's gonna help you establish your brand online, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything.